Should we make a noise? Absolutely. Hey, we're live. There's a new opening sound. You right want to there. do? You want to you do the intro, Mr. Right Vincent? Right here. Yeah, Absolutely. go on. In a perfect right world. We're perfect. It is a, yes, it would be a perfect world, wouldn't it? Oh, and perfect. today we have dawdling coddles, psychotic maniacs run all societies. But hey, that's why they work so badly. Ta-da! <laughs> right here, reallibertymedia.com. RLM Radio. That is hey, my scene. Hey, Vincent. Hello, Flasher Row. And we got the most girl with us. Yeah, just this time. Here. Don't don't untape her until the show's over. Okay, well, we'll she hold escapes. Her now. We need to keep her here. <laughs> <laughs> but the dog will pee on the floor. Yeah. We have ways of making your yeah, talk. Have that. Well, let's say hello to all the fine folks over here at the IRC. Right. What's that other thing you call it, uh, Grimner? I, I rod nod or something like that. We've got the uh, the bar man and Grimner. There's the Mighty Moose girl. Kate and Circle. Way over yonder. Uh, across the waves. Hello and waves. Chloe, flash of somebody. That's a you. There she is. Graham, sweet. Hey, that's me. I be Don C. I be and there's my social experiment. We'll, we'll talk more about uh, Jay Dread, uh, who we uh, affectionately call Hansel. Hansel? Yeah, <laughs> sir. Meister Brow and Poxified and Poxophone. Woody. Woody? Woody, indeed. He probably might. Probably might. Uh, we've got Rain and the lovely RLM Fluke. And yes, Grams, our very own Vanna White right here on the Real Liberty Media. Rob works! And sometimes he lays around. Hello, Roams. Yeah, <laughs> he roams. Roams. Wander, 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 wander. Hey, there's one of me, Davini. And Phantom. Beetle. All caps. He's a big, he's a big beetle. And Captain Vinny. Here I am, Cyber Noodle, the Cota, Frumpy. It's our, our most favorite is Canadian. And Gromit and Java Doctor. He's a big papa, too. And where am I at? A Java Doctor, too. We got we got a double dose. And JJ's Nines over there in the little island by uh, Europe, European. Kozu. And moi, Ninson Dubois, Grams loves that name. I, I like the way it rolls off the tongue as well. Hey, Poxy Home has dropped off down here away from his uh, cohorts to be amongst pond sauce, a sock puppet, and Skittle. Taste mm -hmm. the flavor. No, I'll pass. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me, though. <clears throat> Hello, Gremner. That's the big Weirdo. papa right here. RealLibertyMedia.com. You're a very strange little man, Mr. Vincent. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway. Why, why well, be normal? I, I didn't say normal. I said you're strange, you weirdo. And now, what makes normal the opposite of strange? Well, normal is what you know, and strange is what you don't. Uh, I ask a simple question, I get a simple answer. That's why you're I welcome. like, that's why I like you, Vincent. You don't fuck you're around. You're welcome. So today, here in the in a perfect world podcast, what are we going to talk about, kiddo? Same thing we talk about every day. Pink. Oh, trying to take over the world. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> oh, as, there, is it not fitting? There's already there's... ass hats that sit in suits of power that think they've done exactly that. Yeah, it's true, but it's right here. It's in the title. I know it's true. Yeah, well, in a Bull, way that in a way, coddles. So, but, you said it. Hold on, yeah. psychotic maniacs <laughs> run all societies. Yeah, that's why they work so badly. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I might have some contention with that. Really? Maybe that they are actually working the way that they are intended to work. Oh, right. Well, yes, that's my. I believe that, but I always get yelled at and told how wrong I am when I say something. So Would you shut up and just it. listen? I was trying to fit in. <laughs> you always got to be wrong, don't you? I was trying to fit in. <laughs> Mercy. It still didn't yeah. work. <laughs> take the duct. You can, you can take the duct, take off, duct tape off your mouth now for a moment. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
<laughs> she got a good hit. Don't waste this opportunity. Right. That's funny. <laughs> well, say, now it's completely say words. quiet. What? <laughs> yes, say words, Moosey. Words. Word. Uh-oh. <laughs> Word. Hey, we're, we're stepping in. Yeah, we're stepping out of the writer's sphere and getting into the talking sphere. That's good. I like so that. So start freaking talking, people, or I will. Let I gotta, I'm going to write that down, Flash. That's well, right. there's there's garbage piling up in the Yosemite. Garbage what? and feces. How, wait a minute. Okay, that's kind of out of nowhere. Well, what led up to that? It fell out of the sky? Just the uh, article that I'm looking at here. Garbage and feces are overwhelming national parks amid government shutdown. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Sure, because, wow. Yeah. You really believe that you can go out to the government property and whether they're striked or broken or not working, there's still people watching you. So You know, <laughs> what? I, let's see if I got this right. Out of the rider sphere and into the speaker sphere. Talking sphere. Talking sphere? You're like talking yeah, better than speaking. That's what I said. You're going to go with quote. I said well, talking. You said I, I speaking. didn't say quote. <laughs> <laughs> you, you forget you're talking to the uh, uh, air phrase. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna, telling I'm you. Gonna, we, I'm going to try it. Hold on. If I Look. figure out how to nail words down, you're in trouble, mister. I'm, uh, I'm looking at it. <laughs> because... We'll see. We'll see how it holds up in edit, mister. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll, we'll send it to committee for a vote. That ought to take a couple hours. So, well, I'm doing a, that's a good segue, right? But anyway, me, so, so hey, here, that, here hey, we are, wait, but wait, hold on. the we, government, we, can't, we are, can't waste this. Hold on. What? We can't waste, waste this. This perfect uh, intro for uh, radio <laughs> writing series coming up okay. Friday. <laughs> you selfish bastard. You. <laughs> but now, now shut brings, up while I'm no, talking. Go no, ahead. Moose no, brings up a, a good point, but. I don't believe that just because the government says, well, we're not doing this and we're not doing that. I don't believe them. I think they still are because the money's fake. It doesn't matter. We live on credit and borrowing and all this other crap, plastic and crap like that. So no money ever changes hands. This is just a big performance by a bunch of actors. But if there's seriously trash, how did it get there? And where are all these government employees I, they're off. They're not working right now. They're on furlough. So yeah, you know, come on. The dumpsters would fill up very fast. People, uh, a lot of people don't uh, pack it out what they pack in. On the uh, Appalachian right. Trail, that that's like almost uh, a religious uh, edict that uh, was it adhered to. So you're saying at this time of year with holidays and all this other stuff. Yeah, you got all families. the pigs out there. Yeah, absolutely. People, you know, like Chevy Chase and Family Vacation and all that. Wow. Ah, really? What would they do? They would throw it on the side of the I road. I would not Come on. litter, okay? I don't give a shit where I am. Wow, okay. Don't yell at I me. will not fucking litter purposely, no matter where the fuck I am. So I don't care if it's a national park or my fucking backyard. Now, wait I'm a minute. I'm not going to fucking litter and have garbage and feces piling up. <laughs> In but, my uh, fucking yard. Let's say you're let's say you're in central California I mean, and you buy a big old ninety nine cent uh, Arizona iced tea and you chug that down because it's so hot and you yeah. selfishly crush that can and throw it in the trash where you could have thrown it on the ground for a person to have come along and picked it up and exchanged it for a plastic money. bottle? A no. plastic one too. No, you can't get money for that. Yes, you can. Not in uh, a lot of not in here. And I said, I said I premised in Central yeah, California. He did prim premise. Oh, you did. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. And so you know, hey, there's you're another just thing. being selfish. I'm sorry. But Vincent, sorry. the other part of that is whoever you talk to, because I go through this with Cirque all the time. They always think of where they're from, talking to you about what's going on, and you're thinking about where you're from. So I'm not from there. No, he he does. I've been. That. Everywhere, no, man. California. Well, how I'm, yeah, but I'm in, I'm in a foreign what? country to my America now, right? Where they even speak a, a socially a different language. So there, it's a little bit more obvious that there's differences here. But the people, when they talk to me, they treat me like 
I, I've been here forever. My wife, her family. I mean, there's no, um, I don't know. They don't seem to separate me out when they're talking about stuff. Would you consider like maybe like an old dog, you know, this? No, what I mean is I speak English and not Danish. They speak Danish and English and a few other little bits of languages and whatnot. Do you but, speak dog? But when I'm with these people, they don't seem to separate, you know, it's like cast me aside when they talk about stuff. I have to remind them I don't understand your culture completely because I had 50 years of, of a different one. And the upbringing is so different. My behavior do, might not exhibit my past, but my past is in my mind. You Have know, you like, ever watched The Lion King? Uh, <laughs> years ago when Erica was a baby. Yes. Maybe What's... 25. I don't know how. She's 25 now, so probably when she was two or three. You know, you know there's a, they got these series uh, that where they say, what's wrong with uh, everything that's wrong with so-and-so in 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, but, yeah. The movie. But yeah, listen, yeah, you know yeah. the uh, the monkey guy, the baboon. Hmm. He, he, you know he whacks him with his cane and says it don't matter because it's in the past. But the pain still exists, right? It does carry over. So what what is in the past does matter, doesn't it? Because it brings us directly to where we're at in mm, our present. You, you choose that, though. No, I disagree with that. Not completely. To, you know, on no, you're completely wrong. Just. For me, it was be more, I have to think about the past that bothered me and bring it to mind. It's not there without me looking for it. Hey, or occasionally, catch, like, maybe something will remind me of something, but no, I don't carry it with me. Yeah, you do. You just don't know it. Did my mute button work? Let me test it. Does this work? Turn it off. Oh, yeah, it worked. Now, if we can only figure out how to continue that Can process. you hear me now? Can you hear me now? What do you, hello? What, hello? Yeah, can you hear yeah. me? Mosey, Mosey, hello? Yes, I'm here, yes. You you can hear me? Yeah. Uh, Mosey, hello? <laughs> hello? Flash. Hello. Flash. Is this thing yeah. working? Is this thing working? It's working. Stop. Good, good. Should you're I killing... move it around? Should no. It? Wait, up you're here? killing Look. me. Ah. <laughs> that, that'll give me cross eyes. <laughs> oh. cross, cross that. No, that didn't work. Let me put it back down here. <sighs> 12, now, 12. Are you sure you, you're not Hansel's experiment and we're just getting fed a story? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to leave that uh, un unresponded to and we'll. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. We'll let you see. Oh, we interrupted wait, wait. where we okay, were, I'll Mr. I'm going to a story here. Mm -hmm. got I, all this I don't buy this one. Masturbation oh. is killing up to 100 Germans a year. What is masturbation? Did yeah. Say? Did she say masturbation? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it was yeah. that. There's oh, it's that. Billions and billions of babies are down the drain. It's that weird um, <laughs> asphyxiation. Do you sing in the shower? <laughs> you know, you know, never mind. There's a story again. Okay, now I have to. I'll be right back. I gotta take my dog out right now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I do. Wow. I just wanted to get you guys going on that story. My dog got too. So you I know, could that's just, just leave you hanging. That's just, uh, yeah, yeah. just like a woman to bring up masturbation and then say, I gotta oh, no, go pee. I don't need to now. He's, he's laying down. <laughs> he's laying down. To. He's laying down. <laughs> yeah, I'm mine too. I, I, I'm fine going. Let's go. <laughs> Stop it, Vinny. Okay, anyway, what what were we bantering about oh, wait, before you well, interrupted? I, all I can think about is my little dog spot. Well, all I can think about is people really piling to the uh, state parks in, in January. Oh, yeah. December that. and January in, in the coldest bet. time of year. People do it all the time. I'm not kidding. Why? Hey, Elaine Park. snowmobiling and cross-country skiing and stuff like that. In, oh, yeah, uh, all those lame sports that I make fun of, right? I'm going to go open her up. This is a cool lady. Uh, <laughs> mainstream press. I'm going to open her up. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about the masturbating? Um, we are moved on from that. Key story. Oh. Oh, talking about, look. My. We we took a, a oh, hop on that. Oh, Rob Wait, works. Hold on. This is Sparks at Cat. Listen, we're talking about dogs. So now 
this is this is one of the things I was telling you about earlier, how things just come into place. Yeah. We took a cop on that trail a couple of years ago right. to look at an animal someone had killed. Right. The middle of the trail is fairly nice. He looked at me straight in the face and asked, if we come down here for fun, everything's relative. Barks at cats. Uh, I like terrible. that. Yeah, you would, you morbid well, weirdo. We were talking about people that go out in the uh, into the wilderness in this time of year. This yeah. guy, this guy right here, he lives up in Oregon. He's, he's one of those. And let me go get you another one. Well, are you not one of those crazy fuckers that goes out and yeah. hunts animals too? No, I ain't hunted in a long time. Oh, uh, okay. Eileen, I, I'm sorry. You know, spelling and pronunciation are you, sometimes gets me that. Are you retired? Uh, I mean, you'll never Parker. do it again? No, absolutely <laughs> I will. Well, there you go. The difference between you and me. I'd have to have to or I wouldn't do it. I'd only oh, do it from it. necessity. I wouldn't do it for anything else. No, 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 no. So Eileen Park TV right there. I post that in there. She is forever out there hiking and Benny taking Keller. beautiful pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She camps out in the snow and all that stuff. Yeah. But the story was about leaving tons of mess behind. One she doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't She's leave a, a one. ton of mess. Yes, well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Well, now you're boring me because that's not oh, what I wanted to talk it. about. I wanted to stop. talk about the the dipshit that goes in there and thinks it's a Seven Eleven parking lot and doesn't fucking care. Those are the people exactly. I want to rip on. Those no, I wanted to give you a couple of people that don't. Yeah, I already do know that sort of thing. That's what we want to look at. Now, last time we talked about counterfeits and how. Bank tellers are taught not to study counterfeits, but the real thing. You want to know the real thing, right? The real thing, baby. Huh? I think he's talking to you, Moose, because I'm not answering that shit. <laughs> you end the sentence and baby, you get ignored. Ask Hansel. He'll tell you. What do you mean call you, sweetheart? Uh, no, that's what I call Hansel. Darling. Yeah, good try. Yeah. Dear. There you go. That's what I call my wife. Yeah. Adult. Say yes. Uh, I, I called that's, you adult. We, I already called you adult. No, that's my sweet name for Hansel. Read that. What? Open it up and read it. Open what? The listeners. Oh, Here the link? Chat. Okay. No, you don't have to. You're I don't read have this? to. No. Read this. Yeah. I'm trying. These are I two could... people right here, examples of people that are that, that you'd want to see. Oh, the Barks and Cats? That, that go out into the wilderness. They don't. Yeah, dump that their barks at cats. Garbage. Right? Yeah, they don't dump their garbage. I am one of those damn people. I'm married to one of those people. I know a lot of those people. The people I don't know are the adults that go out there and treat it like a Seven Eleven parking lot. Well, you, let's talk just, about those people. You were saying Chris I don't know any of those be people out there, and I was telling you about the Chevy Chase vacation experience. So those type of people that would. Um, Throw their garbage out on the highway going down. Yeah. And then we talked about Moosey being irresponsible for throwing her garbage away in uh, Central California instead of throwing it on the ground for a person to pick up and make money off of. Oh, yeah. That's when you interrupted all that with your <laughs> tra la la bonehead nonsense. Okay. Which we see. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. This, is a wreck. Yeah. this is a train wreck. It's always, <laughs> no, it's not. It's always a train wreck. It's but, good fun. See, in California, you know, different laws for different places that you're at. That, that's why the law thing just, I don't care. One, fuck this law shit. It's a money-making scheme to skin you with. It's Anyway, so if, it's, if magically you go to here and this is illegal and then you walk across the road and then it's not illegal anymore, okay, I don't want to play that game. But everybody else does. So somebody, I'm stuck in it. Somebody brought like cans and stuff from uh, Arizona and tried to sell it in California. They got in trouble for that. Yeah, because they stamp where they're made now. <laughs> That's sad. They you caught know, them at a border <laughs> check, probably. They need a bigger oh, wall. Geez. Wow, a bigger wall. <laughs> I say we dig the Rio Grande down uh, really deep, dredge it out really, really uh, deep, and stock yeah. it with crocodiles and, and piranha fish yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so easy I know. I know. <laughs> she's party though he, he, he's riding you like he's riding you moose uh, but yeah. okay. giddy up girl 
Yeah. Do you disagree with him, though? About which thing? <laughs> I don't know. Pick something and just ride I that don't for know. a minute. I, this is a train wreck, dude. I can't even think straight right now. Well, the, the best uh, the best advice I could give you is load up your pipe, roll, okay. up, roll up a joint, do something creative, and it won't matter. And that's the best All I right. can do. I got There's good news. More. That's what I do. I got good what? news. Oh, What's good? Yeah, it is 420 somewhere. It has to be. Yes, well, I, it's 1220 here. Is yeah. it? Is well, that means... it's 420 somewhere else. Yeah. 720 means... here. Yeah, let's say hey, it's all good. Awesome. Now, how can we be all at the same time, but we're all on different clocks? I don't know, but I was wrong when I said wow. it was 420 in London that town, I guess. Man. I no, thought that uh, London is six hours ahead. Six hours ahead. Yeah, I'm an hour ahead of them. Yeah, So yep. six hours in London, so I was right. Yeah. Yep. It's 620 in London. And yeah. Amsterdam would be in that time zone, I think, too. Pretty sure they are. We're, uh, yeah, probably. Because I used to talk to Sullivan when yeah, he I was like around. Sullivan. Walter's cool, that smart man. Yeah, but kind of racist. He's We're just the... a bunch of potheads. Yeah, but some of us um, people that see what we see the way we see it are a little bit too much for the real world. Right. They, they can't no, I handle that all the time. Yeah, they you can't say handle the racist? honest. Racist, yeah, to a point. Because a he was. Speakers. I'm talking yeah, out no of kidding, experience. Grimmer. Racist in that he knew shit other people don't know, and he knew talking to them was a waste of time. He, it, what else do you call it? <coughs> An you know, experiment, a grand experiment. <coughs> that's what I call it. Well, yeah, but nobody's better than anybody. They're just more aware of the stories we're told. Well, according to Grimner, politicians are better than piranhas, and that too is specious. Is what? Specious. Politicians are better than piranhas? Well, he says stock it with politicians. They're more ferocious. Oh, they're vicious. worse. More you vicious. Got it vicious. Yeah. Yes. More vicious than Can you any say piranha. That? Do you say more vicious? Would you say more vicious, sir? Yeah. No, you would just say more vicious <laughs> than, you bonehead. There's what about no pirates? Is vicious, sir. Pirates. pirates? Yeah. Pirates. I don't think pirates talk. Lunch. I think pirates just stab you with their swords and take your shit and go away. That's why they're not famous. Right. You never but heard they, of any fucking pirates that were ever famous for hey, what they did. Hey, that is an amazing story, you know, about the true true story about pirates and how they were created as a, a political tool and then uh, how they were uh, deceived in the... Uh, oh, like Columbus? Judas yeah. goats, yeah. Yeah. Not Columbus. Christopher Columbus was ah, a yeah. freaking mercenary, man. Yeah, but I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about the pirate era. Well, you said in what we were raised to believe, and what yeah, I was raised to believe was this the Jolly Roger. special guy yeah. did this. And, and what I found out in my adult days is that Columbus was a mercenary. He was out there looking for gold and pillaging. Yep. See, burning. That's this. This is where I'm talking about this perception. Uh, Never see a foot on Listen, North American soil. The, the true pirate, that uh, true pirate heart, was that man of freedom and uh, the, the true rights and true law. You believe all that shit? That's up to you. I think it's all a scam. Just to they were killed. Money. Yeah, killed Fuck. off. That's you know what? People. There are was an independent movement for uh, true, yeah. true freedom. Okay, well, and people are going to the travel. Empires destroy people, it. people are going to tell stories, and you, then you have what you see. And if you can't match the, what you heard to what you're looking at, then something's wrong with the fucking story you were told. How, how difficult is life to understand? I do not get it. <laughs> I, I understand. Right, but we get told all these bullshit stories when we're growing up to mold our thinking, so we'll listen to the stories we hear when we're older, so that we'll be more easily led. You said more easily. He said easily. Yes, he did. I Thank even you, said you. more easily instead yeah, of just easily. But I said, could have said dweezily just to make <laughs> Vince feel bad. No, but as long as it has an easily sound in it, it's Vince Dweezily of the real liberty media <laughs> that's, com. That's going Hello, into uh, to the notes. So, yeah. you, you, okay, so I get it. What Flash is saying because it's true. When you're lied to at yeah. a, such a young age, yeah. and your parents before were lied to before yeah. you, and their parents were lied to before them, 
Yep. Then you can see how that cycle starts, yep. and that's what happened. Mm -hmm. That's why we are in this huge mess right now because it's all based on lies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so then when you when you realize that you've been lied to, and now you're you know you're 50 years old, now you're gonna be trying to tell people, hey, guess <laughs> what I found out? <laughs> all the shit that we learn and all this stuff in the history books. Either it was omission of facts or just bald-faced lies. Did you realize that? And people are like, oh, no, no, no. They wouldn't do that. No, they wouldn't. No. So you can't. It's really hard to convince people that what they've no, known for their whole entire life is a bunch of bullshit. Well, they do call it indoctrination. That. I get that, you know. For a reason. I mean – it's all based on lies, and it's it's a generational thing. It's been going on for generation after generation after generation, and it's very hard to break that cycle, especially when they keep keep it going. They keep that lie going. They haven't changed how they operate. Their technology may have changed, but the way they operate has not changed. They're still doing the same shit they were doing to my great-great-grandparents. You know? Are you see? Are you enjoying your freedom? Because apparently, according to the American propaganda that I heard, the foreign people are jealous of America for their freedom, and the people that are from the that's countries a bunch that of right. I'm telling you, the people that I've met from the countries where that shit's supposed to happen, yeah. they don't they don't treat me like that. I don't I don't understand. That's just American bullshit. The rest of the world doesn't even know America says it. Most of the world doesn't speak fucking English to know what America says. Yeah. Has to be translated from English to their language. And then when you do that, how do you know what you're getting told? <laughs> I don't know who came up with that phrase, they hate us for our freedoms. But whoever Bush. did should be hated I think it was ordered. Bu George Bush It was the first one I heard say it. Or was it oh, okay. Clinton? Might have been Probably. Clinton. Well, then he's dead. But that No, no, no. The other Bush. Not the old Bush. Should have been fucking the young put Bush, in prison the a long freaking time ago. But they're not going to, you can't put, they're not going to put themselves in prison. Well, they and own like, all the prison Uber's stock. always saying, oh, chemtrails. We can stop, oh, here we oh, go. stop the chemtrails. It's uh, like, uh, they're not, the government's not going to take out their own fucking chemtrail planes. What, he still doesn't understand that simple part of the equation? I don't know, but all I'm saying is, it's a, it, it's a big club that yeah. they have going on, Duh. and we're not in it. Duh. Hey, George. I don't want to be in it. Uh, I know I'm not in their club, and I have no desire to be part of them or in their club whatsoever. What if? What if Just you leave woke me up? The fuck alone. What That's if you what woke want. up in their club? Then what would you do? What if I they, kid, they kidnapped you? And oh God! They, you woke I'd up and be you were killed. there. Really? I think I'd sell out and be a rich billionaire and tell all you people, "Sorry, it was fun, but I'm no, living I want the life." To do with them. They're fucking psycho. Well, maybe, maybe I wouldn't know that. Maybe I'd have to. I don't know. It's hard to. It's hard to say how I'd behave about that kind of lifestyle if it happened. Ooh, I think I'd sell out. Tell everybody it's been real. It's been nice, but I'm gonna go be a billionaire now. Later. Yeah. But I mean, you know, in a perfect world, I would say I'd stay. I wouldn't want to leave my wife and my dog and my I mean, my house and all that. Everyone's but, wasting so much time battling between Republican and Democrat when they could be. Are using they their still time doing more, that? more productively? Yeah, but because how, if you look, back, do, if you know history, you know right. that Clinton <laughs> was created by Bush. <coughs> Clinton was a Democrat, and Bush is a Republican. So, come on. And Obama <laughs> was a Democrat, right? <coughs> he was a yeah. creation. People just are so dumb; they don't get it. There's just <coughs> sometimes I just have to just. Say whatever, and just throw my hands mm. up, shake my head. That's all I right. can do. Because the, the that's what I'm saying about the indoctrination as we're kids. Right, you can't, and that stuff yep. it it roots to you, and and if you go against it, I've lost a lot of family. Won't speak to me anymore because it's sad. A, that's sad. Yeah, because I don't hold their re, their their religious beliefs, or the political beliefs, or their football team. Yeah. You know, three for three. If I could just do one thing out of the three, they would at least talk to me, but I won't. Just to please them, 
eh, no, so that I can gain, no, what the fuck am I gaining? If I have to do what you tell me to just to be involved in your life, right. that well, that's government. Right. That's government. That's how you define government. If you yep. don't do these things, we're locking you up in a jail cell and you can just fucking rot in it. And other people now, they got... The prison system is on the New York Stock Exchange for all these fucking it's rich people to private. buy. because they're private. Right. They, hello. It's the only country on the planet that does it for a business. It's and ridiculous. I, right. But do you, you don't realize how easy it is for the system. And they pick and choose who they're going to fuck with. And it all looks like it's all random and all this. It ain't. They've got computers and plenty of experience to figure out who's uh, the best targets to attack and they're picking people off they're shooting them dead this is what i read on the internet this is what i see in video links not just well people, people are, are telling me going nuts too people are becoming homicidal and suicidal blame I big just, pharma there's been for this the... rash of stories lately of this guy well, killed his family this guy killed his wife and his kids this guy it's like or not just say guys are doing it, but it's mostly men. Big pharma. But then you got this psycho girlfriend that comes over to her ex's house, who's there. No, psycho ex-wife that goes over to her ex's house. He's there with his girlfriend and two kids, and she proceeds to walk into the house and shoot the woman dead right in front of them kids. I mean, th we're talking psycho crazy stuff here. This is the result that we have. Yeah. This is part of the one of the consequences that. Okay. And does does it not remind you of? Does it not? This does is it, so fucked up. Yeah. What? But doesn't it remind you of movies that you've seen, TV shows that you've seen, the way that the the system portrays us to each other, not the way we really are, but all these like killers oh, and yeah, movies. Oh yeah. TV shows and stuff can have an influence. Every man is a freaking asshole on television. All the Not men are idiots. Uh, name one that ain't. All the men I are don't fucking. Know what show are you talking about? It's I don't, all fuck, It's I, all Hollywood. I'm crap. telling you, this is why I gave up watching it because when I did see it, all the guys were all a bunch of dumbass shits that did like a. What was that one with Al Bundy? Uh, married with children. Married with children. Because I was a teenager, I saw some of that shit when I was watching it, and now when I think look look at it now, I just see Al Bundy's is dumbass and his wife is dumber than him but she's somehow smarter and his kids are both worthless and this is the way they're representing the american family that's one show though doesn't make any fucking difference if it's one show or not the point is that this is what we're taught is entertainment and wait a minute there's more to it than what i just explained moose <laughs> but what I saw was a bunch of bullshit because, no, that's not how my life was. Yeah, my, it's, pretty, it, it's pretty messed up because you got, when thinking about that show, Mary with Children. Yeah. Total sexist show. Yeah, because when my totally folks were married, sexist. they were married in the 50s, okay? So Who? Your my parents? parents. So yeah, yeah. when I was growing up, my mom didn't talk to my dad like that, not in front of anybody, if ever. I never yeah. heard her. I never heard my mom uh, be dis dismissive to the male or, or any of the guys. She never talked down to anybody. She was a really nice woman, but especially, you know, like that Peggy Peggy Bundy character, you know, running around in high heel shoes and not doing this and not doing that crap. It was just such nonsense. Yeah. It, Okay, well, that's what entertainment is. It's But the way it's delivered on the television is almost as though it's real. People believe the shit they see on oh, a television the society, set. society as a whole has been dumbed down. There's no doubt. I mean, I, you got people that are in their 60s, and they still haven't grown up. They're still telling fucking jokes from junior high. And acting like they're in junior high. Okay, well, I and could be it's, accused it's of that. And it's a dumbing down. It's, it's, it's just a whole, and it's a societal thing. Okay, yeah, but see, the same words you used to use to explain them have been used to explain me. 
I refuse to grow up and join the system. I won't vote. I'm not a I'm grown talking up. about the, your mentality. I'm not talking about... That's what they say. You know what no, I mean? I'm but, talking about the dumbing down. Right. And, and that's I'm what saying, that show was. Married with Children was for people that are stupid. Right. And those people's defense is to make make me the bad guy. Because I'm related to them. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about your family, man. I, I know how it goes. Well, I mean, I'm not asking for anybody. I just no, don't is... talk about it. Just because yeah, well... they don't want to hear it. They don't oh, want yeah, to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. So I yeah. don't talk about it. No, we just got the internet now. That's pretty much the point of it. Cause the, I got Freaker's Ball, so I can mass... talk about it there. Yeah, yeah, but the masses are never going to. They're never going to hear what we have to say because they're tuned into the completely different world. It's not the same one we hear. It's not delivered to us in the same way. We repel it. And everybody else sucks it up like they want it. It's just ridiculous. There's just no... I don't know what the word is. Hmm. There's no solution. I mean, there is, there's, there, there's things that people can think of that could maybe help. But there's no solution. Like, that's going to... The truth, maybe, you know? maybe the maybe the truth would be a solution if we didn't have rock. People don't want to hear the truth. That's the problem. When people don't want to admit or acknowledge the fact that they've been being lied to their whole lives, people don't like being lied to. It pisses them off. Well, I, okay. So have you run into it in person? I have. I know what you mean. <laughs> they they tell me to go away. So people I go don't away. Don't want to talk about it. I just no, if they don't no. want to talk about it. I'm good. I'm like okay. That's Why fine. do we want to talk about it? Hmm. I want to talk about it because I can't stand lies. I just can't stand it. Okay, well, you're in a perfect world tonight. So oh, in a perfect oh, that's world, awesome, that's wonderful. It's my first rule to live by. If you want a good life, start it out without any fucking lying. If you're not lying about shit, the lies that you're living on are not a re they're, they're not something you're doing. Those are incidental like the electricity and the the food and the water those kind of lies are beyond a person's control yeah you know but the other kind of things you know how do you feel today and you say tell somebody well i don't feel so good you might be lying or you tell them oh i'm great and you might be lying well if you just tell people the truth when they ask you what you think you're going to spend a lot less time talking to other people <laughs> yeah but the quality of your conversation is going to go up tremendously. You know? Like the other day. Your radio partner, I took on Thursday night to do, to do by myself as a personal kind of a thing, right? Yeah. And I got involved in the production so I could learn how to, you know, change the titles on the screen and all that mm -hmm. kind of... Well, the more I get involved, the more I want to learn. <laughs> and I thought... That's awesome. Well, yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it. I mm -hmm. thought because this is so minuscule what we're doing, right? So, right. But but I get I do it because I I enjoy something about it. And like Vinny tonight, Vinny's being quiet, so you could get a few minutes in. Because <laughs> I've been doing radio with Vinny for years. Yeah. And me and Vinny kind of have a well, we have an understanding of each other behind all the crap you can read on the chat because we've talked about a lot of stuff. Away from the radio, you know, and most of the crap we say to each other on the air, if if we're not using a topic and all that bullshit, the bantering, the yelling and screaming, <laughs> it's 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 a joke. <laughs> it's not. It's doesn't. Go, we don't carry it over to after the show's over. It's done. It's yeah. just part part of the damn thing that we do. And we were talking about that years ago, and went, I wonder if people know how dumb they look when they argue. <laughs> Because yeah. if yeah, if you're not involved in it, then and you're just reading the chat, some some of these arguments are just lame. Or if you see like like I've uh, I've got a few people I had to ignore because the the chat was just getting me upset, you know. And I then I'd say something I didn't want to say, and then, eh. So I blocked a couple of people, but I can still read what they write. <laughs> yeah. Through other people commenting back to them. So, <laughs> but. It works for me, and the only you know, that's the the only answer I could find was just eliminate the problem from the. That's a good way. Thing to do in it. front of me. Uh, well, 
it's censorship. You know, but I took I thought self censorship is way different than you know, like if you censored right. me, I'd I'd be all insulted. But if I censor me, hey man, then all of a sudden <laughs> I have a right, just like an American would say, I've got a right. No, you don't. You, there's no such thing as rights at all. Period. Zero fucking. It's all a bunch of nonsense. All of this crap. There are no such thing as fucking rights. It's if you act up in public in a way that doesn't please the authority that's around you, you'll end up in their midst and have to deal with it. And if you don't fuck with anybody and you just live your life, nothing ever happens. Then there's the political game where taxes and all these other things come into play. Property ownership and bills and paperwork. And yeah, documents. I'm not going to be able to have my house for much longer. Why is that? I just can't afford it. Oh, yeah, well. If my yeah. kids move out yeah. and they're not helping me pay for the utilities or anything, I mean, the property tax is $3,000 a year. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've heard you mention that. I mean, yep. How much? Really? And plus, I need to do repairs on it and everything. How much? Three thousand dollars. A lot. Yeah, it is. Just that's, under three thousand. It's not exactly. It's like twenty nine. Blah blah blah. It's, but you know listen, I mean? if you look at it like this, like uh, it's just paying rent to the government. Yeah, it yeah. is. You yep. can. Well, it'll make exactly. you feel better about it maybe right i mean so basically i have to put aside like 300 dollars a month or something that's crazy 300 so I can 300 pay. bucks a month rent yeah. that is crazy and what <laughs> you're renting yeah, i own this home the mortgage yeah. is paid you're, no, you're you know renting your own property from the government yes that's what i'm that, doing yeah you're but right but this is why you know so if you could have a land patent that's the way to go yeah, I re yeah. Okay, no, it's it's, I it's less that. than yeah. three hundred a month, Vinny. Let me just. <laughs> but still, for something you supposedly already right. own. Two hundred fifty dollars well, a month. Okay, do you know how few people are aware of what you just said? I I don't know. I very few, are. moose. Well, you know, we keep saying the same shit yep. over and over and right. over, but that's because we all know it. But the one guy that or gal out there that doesn't know it, <laughs> that's who that's for. Right. And the more common something is, right, as common as it is to say, fuck Trump, nobody's fucking Trump. Maybe that wife is <laughs> fucking Trump. Or maybe that wife of his has a girlfriend that'll fuck Trump. Who knows? But I ain't fucking Trump. Are you fucking Trump? No, Vinny? hell no. You, Vinny, you, you fucking Trump? You blow a Trump. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you sick bastard. But what what I mean is we, we all say it, but nobody goes and does anything about it. You know, we're, we're just, the, the illusion of the movement is beyond what I can explain right now. The only now. thing you can do about it, like for me, what I can mm -hmm. do is, you know, I'm kind of in a catch-22 because I'm $250 a month rent. That's not that bad. Really? That's pretty cheap. Well, that's the way right. to look at it. If I move out to an apartment, it's going to be a thousand dollars a month. <laughs> oh yeah, that's you know, plus utilities, plus yeah. everything else. Yeah. So like, they kind of got me, you know. Uh -huh. Unless well, I can get pat land patent or a loyal title. Well, I am not. I, a loyal title is not available in Wisconsin. It's not an option. The only oh, thing I could do is land wow. patent, but I can't do that. Where this house is located. Wow. It's in a city. It, wow, it's, they got you from all the angles, yeah. Yeah, so they covered the only bases. way for me to truly own something is to move out to you know the sticks and um start over. <laughs> try to get land patent and then I yeah. truly own it. I own the land, not just the real estate, but the land that the real estate sits on. You know, Hal was talking about that in uh um I forget who he's talking to it about, but anyway, he's talking about that land patent. Uh, I've not heard much success on that, but I would be interested in, in hearing some good reports on how that works. It's it's difficult, but it can be done, but you have to be in the right location. Yeah, I, I believe uh, what I know about it comes from you, 
you've uh, you've spoken about this uh, some time back. I'm renting. Yeah. I'm yeah. renting this lot. I own the house, the real estate, but the land that it sits on, I do not. Right. Get your house and you yep. go now. Bye bye. <laughs> take your house. Oh, you can't carry See, it. Yeah, no. I'll take care of it. There's no problem. It's all, it's all about how they write these laws. Yeah. So about five hundred bucks a month. If I put 500 bucks a month aside every month, I'd yeah. have the money to pay the taxes and the money to do the improvements. Hopefully. Okay. You know, some right. improvements, maybe not all of them. It would take me time. I'd have to save some money, maybe, you know, save it up for a little bit. You could go out gypsy, too. Yeah, you know, so part of me is just a house. In some ways, it's a burden, but it's still... You know, you have to have a place to live. Well, uh, right. Even yeah. if it's a yeah. van down by the river, I don't know. But. Well, being stationary does help survival. Being on the constant move is not good. You yeah, I mean, I like and, to travel, yeah. but... But, yeah, there comes a point where, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to sit down and not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's great. Uh, yeah. But also, the, when, when you do that, that's an adventure you go for, and uh, I think... It's that's I don't know how to define it better than adventure, man. Well, right, she sounded right. like you sounded to me like land ownership is the goal. Am I right? Or wrong? No, I, I'm just saying that in order for me to truly no right, but own is it, that right? Right, but is that the road you want to take, or do you have other? No, ideas? I was just explaining that that would that's what I'd have to do in order. And to that's what I mean, something. Moose. I know that you've told this before, but there's somebody else out there that maybe yesterday weren't ready to hear what you just said about how the taxes uh, property taxes operate you know there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that are for they're for this freak and society game right. that they play because they believe stories that are just well, plain uh, bullshit. what am i what am i getting for that three thousand dollars you know some of it's my tax return the federal but that's the fed and the state goes or the state tax some of that goes to the schools but <laughs> what am I getting for that three fucking thousand dollars a year? What am I getting? Not I'm getting, enough. Well, I'm getting the sewer line from the street and the water line from the street. Right. But I pay I pay the water company. On top of it. For so, that. Yeah. Yeah. So what am I getting for that three thousand dollars? I hope you're getting fluoride for that price. Uh, it, well, yeah. There's fluoride in the water. Thank you. So Wonderful, huh? it, 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 it pisses me off because. My mortgage is paid. Yeah. I'm still paying $3,000 a year to live here. And there's nothing, no legal recourse can be taken because the, no, the lawyers already fixed all that. No, unless I sell it and buy yeah. something in the sticks yeah. where I can get... And that's a different you know. piece piece of property. So yep. that's what I mean is to, there is no way for you to do what you want where you are. Right. Well, they knew that. Did they tell you that up front or well, was that shit you should you know that out? going in. Most Anybody people don't clue now. A home should know that. Most people don't. I didn't know. I didn't own a home. I still, well, I don't consider it owner, owning a home, but <clears throat> I never wanted to be on the paper. Well, most people don't know that real estate only counts for the what's a, sitting on the yeah, land. Yeah, on it the dirt. Count yeah, the land itself. Pipes and shit underneath. Yeah. yeah, most people don't know that part, or a lot of people might not know that. Well, they call it real estate for a reason. Yeah. You know, all this misguiding, that's, what was I harping at somebody about? You know, it's like this, the religious stuff, right? Yeah. So King James decided he's going to have a Bible written in English. But the original text isn't in English, so he needed to have it translated. <laughs> well, okay, now here's here's the way I look at this situation. Here's a tyrant in charge of a fucking country. This guy at the snap of a finger can have people murdered and go to war and all this other crazy shit these people believe. Now, why can't he t dictate a book to be written a certain way? He doesn't have to do it. He has to have a staff of men or men and women or whatever bright enough to f carry out the goal and then take the credit for it later, the King James Bible. Well, I can't read any of this Hebrew or Latin or any of that shit to figure out what the original shit means. Yeah. So I'm at a disadvantage. Well, okay, so here we are in the 20 damn first century. And people, human beings living today with everything in front of them on a computer, 
are still clutching this this myth of a book that they've never read because they've never read the original version in the language that it was written in and they don't they don't comprehend that when you translate from latin to english or hebrew to english the words are similar sometimes but mm, and then there's words they didn't even have yeah i hear you yeah i'm well like in denmark you know when Cirque plays her online game with her nephews I'll always hear him say heirloom because in Danish there's apparently no word to replace it with in the game. The game uses English when it, uh, for most, I guess where uh, there's no natural word for it to fit. Yeah. And the, well, the kids learn to adapt to, to the English. It's very strange to see that from this perspective. Yeah. Because I'm the I'm the foreigner and they're speaking English. <laughs> did, did that translate to you or did I leave you more confused? Well, I, I get what you're saying. It's like you know, the game telephone. Okay, I don't you know. You know what I mean? You know what the game no. telephone is? Uh-uh. Oh, you know, you're, you got a group of people standing in a circle or whatever. And hey, one person does... starts out telling us, tells, tells the second person next to them a story. And then they tell that same story to the person next to them and so on and so forth. Well, by the time it gets to the last person, the story is like way out there. It's like not even the same story at all. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. I've heard that, but yeah. I've never done it. Hey, let's, okay. do it. let's do it. Let's do it. I'll no, start. Do it I'll, yeah, I'll start. One well, ringy I'd dingy. Have to, like, mute. I'd have to like Wait. not listen to the story. Two ring you got to answer your phone first. Two ringy dingy. <laughs> Say hello. Hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> answer, answer the phone, would Vinny, you, Mosey? Vinny, Come on. She, thought, she's, take, I, she's taking you seriously, Vinny. You got to tell her. <laughs> you got to remember, Moose is more sensible and serious than we are. And when she, I don't know sometimes, about that. Oh, come on, you miss our sarcasm a lot <laughs> to, to us. Ring, ring, we know ring. we're joking, but <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Oh, uh, Grimner, I, ring, ring. Grimner hey, just caught up here. Guess what? That's Good. a perf That's the perfect segue. Ring, ring, ring. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Flash and I w was talking about uh, Lord of the Rings when the movie came out. And, yeah. Uh, uh, the book and The Hobbit. Uh, and that's well, what... the book came out way before the yes. movie. Yes. Oh, oh, that was uh, the no, best it, the, based the, on a movie I ever saw. Yeah, but the point the was the, the year <laughs> that the movie was made, not not about the date of the writing, but the, the time of the movie and compared it to 9-11. Yeah, that too. And uh, yeah. also... Uh, the contrasting worldviews that we have. I was trying to remember what's his name's name a while ago in uh, uh, C.S. Lewis and contrasting him to uh, J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Yep. Uh, he was a Papist or a Catholic and uh, Lewis a Protestant. So that there's a big contrasting uh, worldview in that. And uh, Tolkien, now uh, I looked here recently at a podcast from uh, Wisecracks and I really love the way they... Uh, they contrast these ideologies. They do a lot of gaming and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's not that I'm into gaming, but the ideology. And that's what people... Which know, game? Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. But that's just, you know, how a perception people have uh, in the worldview. Uh, all through entertainment and, and media and that sort of thing. So it's very interesting to contrast how uh, ideology that uh, and, and um, literature that is so pervasive in, in our uh, culture. Well, The Hobbit and, and was written in 1937 originally. Yeah, you know, my dad was a year old. Fellowship of the Ring, 1954. First part of Lord of the Rings. Uh, second part, 1954 as well. So the book was the books were around way before. Yeah, I think I read The Hobbit in 1978. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what, really what but I oh, and, Go ahead. and Grimner, uh, I didn't wasn't saying about her danglish. I was saying more <laughs> about when when she plays these online games. Okay, it's it had to do with the translation of original words. Even just in today's modern language, there's words that the Danes don't have a a, a word to translate, so they use the English one that's available. So. The same thing goes for the religion. Well, there was words there that existed at that point that don't exist anymore. 
You know, or the, they, maybe not they, words, they but not. maybe okay. may not be used. What they represent may have been lost, or we don't use it, or it, yeah. it's been replaced by other things. Since. I could give you some good examples from the Bible in talking about the grave and uh, mm -hmm. as and hell and uh, dump grounds, and uh, there's other examples of the word where the word hell is used. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but. Man. but See, it, it's all about controlling the people. Because if you just read the book and believe what you believe by yourself and don't tell anybody else about it, is it still real? <laughs> Are you still, do you still believe there's a God? Or does Absolutely. part of that verbal, does, okay, but does part of the book contract require that you go out and repeat certain things a certain way? Because, in in the Jew thing, there's protocols, and you go through this, and you go through that to to become you know uh, a good standing member of Judah, you know, among your pure Jews that practice the crazy fucking religion. What's, what's your favorite juice? Uh, my like favorite juice. Mosey, oh, what's like way? That. What's yours, Mosey? Uh, Mexican I like juice. Grape juice. Grape juice. Grape juice. Um, I like grape juice. It's good. Mexican juice, my friend. Orange hey. juice is good, but <laughs> orange juice. Grape juice, I think, is really good. Mm. Mm, juice. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I can't get a pick a favorite. What a waste question, you <laughs> bonehead. What's your favorite juice? Mexican uh, juice. That's juice. my favorite. Hey, I like you know what? I juice. I got a I got a way Jesus. to build your I got a way to build your wall down in, on the border. I don't want a stinking wall, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> this really works, right? See what you do is you get all the people that vote. You get them to take like a bag of bricks and a couple bags of mortar, and maybe fifty gallons of water down to the border. And then you have the Mexicans build their own fucking wall. <laughs> Listen, pay them me, twenty cents an hour. They'll probably do it. <laughs> let me let me give you some ideas. Give them a buck a day. Of what, of what we're looking really? at here. I, I just watched a, a, really? another video. Thanks, Chloe, for the video <laughs> on the uh, down in the Big Bend area. That is such. Uh, uh, it's crazy to think that you could build a wall all through all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> insane insane, insane. Well, the, the chinese did it centuries ago i think yeah they, they I, buried the bodies too as the so? as they fell uh, in their labors yeah. so talking about that now if you started stacking people up down there how many yeah. people would it take to fill up and, they, and build a wall with just the bodies many 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 There's many many more bodies than what could uh that exist yeah. on the whole entire world but the body juices and the flesh goes away, and, and eventually you just have bones. The animals would probably just have gorge for fucking weeks. You know how many people are dying? <laughs> Where? In the desert. No. Where? Twelve. Thirty. Coming. Coming. A lot. Where? Coming. Thirty-two. Coming into America. Oh to, yeah. To, to try to escape around uh, portions of walls, I guess. You know, this whole thing doesn't really make any sense if you try to explain it to somebody that, you know, all right, Mexico's pretty gut, well, pretty gut, has, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but Mexico, I was listening to you and, and Grim talk about this. Yep. Mexico's got a great economy and all this other horse shit, right? Yeah. But, but they've got a lot of people that want to escape it and go live somewhere else. Why? Same reason this, people want to leave the U.S. Okay, well, well, but is this a result of what you know from talking to foreigners that would, you know, be able to answer the question, or is this what you think? That's my guess. I don't, I don't, ah, that's what I mean. I wonder I what. I don't know for sure. Be, right, because I think the, the person, you know, we're fed stories through media. Right. And other people. So, but how much of that knowledge comes from the people that actually have an act in it? You know, we're told one thing and something else is always happening. Right. It never, it never fails. Well, me and you agree about something, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was teasing you about, you're one of those people that likes to hang on to your constitution. Oh, we agree more, <laughs> disagree, slash. <laughs> I, I know. But, well, 
it's not so much about agreeing or disagreeing right. about this stuff anyway, because yep. it it's a in my opinion, right? You can not allow it to affect your behavior. You know, it might affect your life at some level, but like government with here in Denmark and all that in circ yeah it's involved in my life on paper but not in any physical there's no physical reality to it it's just all just this paper thing and the rest of life is just doing whatever i do have you ever had you know? uh Wrigley's peanuts <laughs> you nut job yes <laughs> hey, hey, metal I pancakes i don't know where <laughs> He's Goober man. Come out of it's, the blue. It's Goober, Goober you know, man. And he's just hey, sitting over there. Moose, and he's listening, the... and all of a sudden he'll be like, "What kind of juice do you like?" <laughs> look at the moose. Look yes. at the RLM chat, moose. I see that. I'm I back. Ah. Thanks. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mental. How's it going, man? Yeah, I was off. It is outrageous, dude. Too. Yeah, but outrageous. Out you know, outrageous. An apartment would be more meant. Would be more money, but I wouldn't have to pay the taxes, the property yeah. tax, and that. And somebody else would fix the hot water heater. Yep, it, it is. That, big that's time. all been manipulated. The whole yeah. idea, the the whole market, and how they captured it. Right. It my so my thing much. is, is well, I'm not. Get, I don't feel that I'm getting three thousand dollars worth of stuff. I don't think I'm getting my money's worth at all. Well. Because I pay the water separate, so I'm not. You even know what I would water's do? Water's not even part of that property tax. I write City Hall and tell them to come in here and you know, tell them what you need, what you need, new well, bathroom. Yeah. I should say, you know, I want to see where my three thousand dollars is going every year, and if there's any left over, can I have some of it back? Because I want to make some improvements on my home, my Listen property. To, I think you know, maybe that would cost you extra to be able to have access to that information. So you're going to have to have probably. a tax rate. Yeah, we're going to raise your taxes. For Everyone you. should be doing this though. Instead of every, the, most people do the same thing every year. They bitch and moan about it, mm -hmm. but yet they pay it. They mm -hmm. don't like to pay it, but they because they bitch and moan about it. Mm -hmm. But yet they still do it. Okay. So you, can I? Okay, get pissed off, but keep doing it. It that makes no sense at all. Everybody's right. doing it though. Right, everybody. So you, all the cool one kids. person isn't gonna be able to. Which well, I could raise a stink about it. I could write an editorial. I could write a letter to the editor. Or, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Well, well, then how many other people are in the same position? Well, I know a bunch of people said, with homes here in Eau Claire. Maybe you should. Maybe that's the point is you need to be reminded. Re remember yeah. when I, I told the story about I was talking with my friend Kelly about Cirque and fly to – why don't you just fucking book a flight and go meet her, you dumbass, like that. And I went – and we talked about – some vague about it, but I, I went, what? Okay, so, you know, and it's like that you can talk to people about shit and they don't hear what you mean until a certain point. And who knows what the magic word is that gets somebody out of the government would never lie to me. <laughs> no, the to, thing I, the, the, you know, I put myself out there because I'm on the internet doing the Freakers Ball, right? So I'm mm -hmm. already putting myself out there. It's, mm -hmm. it's like I don't know how much attention I want on me. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, But yeah, at the yeah. same time, I'm not afraid of it. But yet, do I want I, – I, I do kind of want to be that person. But at the same time, I really don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know? Yeah, that's why we do the radio because right. it's a whole lot easier to not do this when it's not comfortable to do it. And radio time is two hours, just, then it's done. Right. Then you can be quiet and sit down and do whatever your normal day is. But we get to come on here and rant and tell people what we think about the government and how the finance runs and the medicine and all these horrible things they don't want to face. Well, I just want to know where my money, you know, I've been here. Think it's fair? 12 Good. years, 13 years. 13 right. years times 3,000. Okay, Vince. Hey. Vince, what, hey. What, what do you think Hal would advise her to do to start $39, that? $39,000 I've paid since I've lived in this house. <laughs> wow. 39 grand. Yep. Oh, I heard Hal speak recently about the alluvial title, and it's something that he was interested in and didn't yeah, have uh, she said uh, much of first hand knowledge. Yeah, and that's the only thing, Kate. They, so they he did. Not they did. my house, and they raised the, 
the value of my home by twenty grand. Wow, so they could jack you for tax. There's it's homesteading like, in a lot of states that geez. reduces your uh, property tax. Right. I need to look into it because, you know, <clears throat> this is ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. But at the same time, if I'm renting somewhere, like Grimner pointed out, the rent that you pay, that property tax, the, the landowner or the, the landlord is going to include that. A portion of your rent is going to be part of that pro their property tax. You know what I mean? Because on a, an apartment building or a townhouse, you know, especially an apartment building, the tax is going to be high. What do you want? You know? A perfect world? The big no, because there's no such thing as perfect. Sure, <laughs> there is. Yeah, sure, there is. There, it's it's called compromise, but it's as close to perfect as I'm expecting. And I'll tell you why, if you want to hear, so well, you're far. not in the dark. Because all right, as much as you complained about paying your taxes. Yeah. My wife never complains about paying her taxes. Never hear a bad word out of her. Okay. Be, but because in her society, the government comes through and they, they do the things they promise to do for them. That's good. But we come from another place where they capitalism has been manipulated to be called capitalism, but it's not. It, it's just called that. That's not what it is. And uh, and then you end up with shit like the Obamacare thing where you're forced to p purchase a product from... No, that's not... No. No. That's not freedom. No, at it any, is not. Okay, well, these are the Obama days before I ever left America. Okay? And those... I seen a thing about a judge uh, overruling this crap to that crap about the Obamacare, but not, but not stopping it. They're going to continue to do it, but it's it's on a hold, but not to be stopped on a hold. Just some kind of ignore it thing. And went, wow. <laughs> you know, the left hand don't know what the right hand's doing is pretty much the problem. Yes, yeah. Sir, yes. Sir. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Now, if you don't understand how that applies to the previous statement, if you just shook your head, what the fuck did that mean? <laughs> You, you you are one of the people that are the problem. You are the problem. <laughs> so, well, I was the problem before I learned I was the problem, and then You're I stopped being problem, the problem. Buddy. You're still a problem. Am I? We oh, have man. ways of taking care of people but, like you. Throw. I'm gonna I'm gonna start my own cult then and and have war with you. I'll wipe you off the planet, mister. Man. What are you going to do about I got, that? I got cult 45. Come on with you, cult. No, What's up? No, a cult. I'm gonna I don't get a, care. A group of I, evil minions I got a to, dis, to destroy minions. your American dream life. <laughs> the, the day the American dream died. <laughs> hey, we've got fresh pancakes. Well, you know what the you know what the sad part okay, the the sad part about all that shit for me now because it's been away so long, is the more away I am from the the story and the property and you know, the people, mm -hmm. the more the more I see it's just a story because the one I'm in has their own damn story, and it's to me it's just a bit of dirt somewhere. I'm not I'm not hooked on the stories that. They're fun, and it's wonderful to see. <laughs> it's wonderful to see old buildings, you know, from hundreds of years ago, and all that was really nice. But uh, it it's not like a defining thing. They're just people, you know? And it's but it's a nice that they've got a, a what do you call it? like a, a history to look back on. In America, they tore they tore down shit and rebuilt it and tore it down and rebuilt it so there's not much left of how we got there like a ghost town in the you know out in Arizona somewhere and they'll just let time decay them instead of preserving the history of where we came from they just let it go and put something else on top of it that's not very nice you you guys don't think much of that one okay because I'll look at it like they're bombing the Middle East out of existence. Their history is going to all be destroyed. So 
in a hundred years there won't be physical proof they'll have pictures oh look at this is what they once were but all the artifacts will be dust <laughs> in the wind them all up yeah again. i think the religions are all working together and uh and the Arabs, the Arabs lost the toss for the twenty-one, no, two thousand. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah, know who knows. yeah. Last century it was the Catholics. <laughs> the century before that it was the Presbyterians. You know, so every century the one religion picks up the ball so they can keep the fight going, and it's a big game. They're all in it together. That's what I think. I don't think there's a difference between the Jews and the Catholics and the Muslims. I think there's, at the very fucking top, there's these three pricks sitting around the table laughing because look at all these idiots that do what we tell them to do. Yep. <laughs> I, I read 65 million Catholics in America. And that group is so powerful that the Pope, spoke on the senate floor last year okay you know i have no problem paying for like the pablo oh. center <laughs> which is the, the the new event center they built down there yeah. you know the yeah. millions of dollars it costs i have no problem paying a portion of that and i have no problem yeah. paying for you know the upkeep and the maintenance of the city how, how much we talking that. how much we talk because talking I, here what I a dollar what? Five dollars? How much are we talking? Because I can get you a deal. I'm just Look, saying it wait, needs to be. How much? It, it Hold on. Be how simple. much? It should be a certain amount of of this money. But then I need, you know what? I need some of the money back, or I need to keep some of the money because I need to get need to do improvements on my home, and I need money to do that, and I shouldn't have to borrow it. I can hook you up. You know what I've I'm got saying? this friend. See, I know. No, I I understand. Vinny's fucking around. Yeah, but no, I, I get that. It's, yeah. It's, but what well, that's the whole point it's how can you how can you honestly believe that it's yours knowing what you just said it's, it's obviously it's not your... I know I own the, right. the house I don't own but, the land okay but your neighbor down the road that doesn't know what you know but in the same situation same fucking thing but their whole indoctrination makes them look at it that this is the best thing for me I'm just saying it, we're not given a choice like I, I don't know how much of that three three grand went oh, to that yeah, building of that building. That. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't either. Construction of that building. I don't know. Well, but I don't want to play those political games. All I know is place. I've been here paying that amount, just about yeah. that same amount for uh, thirteen years. Well, and, does and your now, uh, thirteen years later? I, I need to I, make improvements on my home, but I have no yeah. money to do that. Okay, does your local re what do you call it? Local city council have a Facebook page. Oh, sure they do. Well, then go slap them around it. over there for a while. Don't, yeah, there you don't, go. Don't, don't go over there and post anything like, hey, I, I need a new bathroom and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. No, I, I'm just going to. First, I'm looking huh. up to see if they even have a page. I, sure ask, them, ask them, say, I think I should get a little bit more with the prices I'm paying. So uh, maybe they can put an right. extra dispenser for. Uh, fluoride and what you else? You know, I don't want, want any of it's my money to go to that. No, I, I would, I'd really speak up about this. Let's, let's start a campaign. More fluoride. Two. Yes, more no. fluoride. More fluoride. <laughs> more. Funny. More is but always just, better. Just make the sheep easy. Yeah, make Not them more, more docile. Why? Can they, can they get any more docile? Well, except for the rowdy ones that go on YouTube fighting each other in the streets. Well, they have city council meetings, so in order for me, to, you know, what I could do is I could put together a speech or something. Well, first you <laughs> got to know what's going to be meeting. in it. What do you want to tell them? Say, hey, you know, I just want to know why I'm paying this amount every year and why I'm I, I'm so broke that I can't make improvements on this <clears throat> property that I'm paying three thousand dollars a year on. You know where okay, is this money it, going for thirteen years? You know it and, takes you know, a lot. Me, you want me to make improvements on my house, and you know what you did? You assessed my property twenty grand more, and I haven't done yeah. anything to it. Right. Well, Except the put way a new you... roof on. That's the only thing okay. I've done major in this house yeah. since I've lived here. I think well, I've I got the answer, though, right here. And it goes oh, back I to the too. very beginning. And Flash yeah. said it, actually. 
What? Uh, yeah. I'm talking about uh, dawdling coddles. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, here uh, we go. Yeah, uh, psychotic up words again. maniacs <laughs> run all societies. That's why they work so well. But who do they work well for? Do you? For you? Well, they work good for the people that claim they make money. You know, it would be nice, though, if I could get more than one person. If I could get, like, a group of people yeah, together yeah. to go exactly. to the city council meeting. Well, you know, I, you know, I, I don't remember. Need to be, like, five people or two I, people. I okay. saw this thing about history where slaves tried to uh, gather and uh, make their petitions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but she's got a question. It's valid. It's a good question. I, I get I and I got an answer for your question. Okay. But I don't think you're gonna like it. Well, at all. I I know I don't right? like it. I'm not gonna okay. like it. Okay. Now the way you arrive to the conclusion is you figure out within the voting boundaries of whatever the city council is. Yep. Okay. Let's just say for a, for a round number, say there's a thousand houses. Okay. Okay. And in that thousand house area, there's say five politicians that make a living. They're living off these five, off these thousand houses. Okay. Okay. Just, just for numbers' sake, to make the point, I'm not making. Yeah, I'm I get not, you. Okay. So what you do is you figure if each house um, pays, say, like you, three thousand dollars a month. A year. Or I'm mean, sorry, yeah, a year per house per mm -hmm. household. So then, how many? When do you add a? Then it's how many? Then whoa, the numbers start getting multiplied. Yeah. And blah blah blah. Well, but the amount of people that do the work, the five people in the government that actually have something to do with it on a financial level, have a payroll. You know, mm -hmm. these people are salaried to to hold this position in government, and it's paid for by what? You think? I think on paper, because all this shit is all a, it's creative accounting. There is no money exchanging hands. This is just people believing the other guy's going to pay them. That's why you have court. See, if, if we had gold, we wouldn't need admiralty court. People just trading gold. But we got paper and yeah. fiat and all this plastic and machinery and all this other shit. It's a fiat, fiat system. Yeah, right. But it's not real. Yeah, it's a rigged system. Right. Well, you can't rig a real system. Right. It would work. That's why right. they use a fake so, system because they but, can rig it. And here we are, me, you, yep. and Vinny. Here we, we all are. three understand. We understand this. Okay. So my point was that the thousand houses through property taxes raise enough money to pay these five guys to whatever the fuck they do. They don't do anything. You need to get rid of these motherfuckers and trim it down. You know why? Why do you got government so fucking bloated? What, what do these people do? They when you go to talk to them, they tell you to shut up and listen. Yep. I've seen plenty of information on the internet. Or they just give you excuses. That too, yeah, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they compare your property with other properties in your same area. I get that. I do get that part. I know how they come up with these numbers that they put on my house here. <laughs> yeah, but come up with. Yeah, but to, that's what I'm saying. To, just, to justify the salary and all these other perks, well, I don't know. I don't pricks. think the city council members really make that much money. Where does it come? Okay, then you why do they I mean? do it? I, I, I think that's that's almost like a volunteer gig. They, they get paid no, so little. No, but okay, then what are the perks beyond? Uh, yeah, see, I, that's, that's, I mean. I, that's another thing I need to look into. Well, there's creative Let accounting. Let <laughs> Kate, Kate has probably got the best knowledge of this kind of stuff out of the people on the RLM because she works with this, right, Kate? I, I'm pretty sure. But you can... Um, How much do city council members get paid? Who knows? I'm just using it as, as an example. Or the mayor. Well, whoever's in power. You know, if it's a position of power where you make decisions, if it's some... I don't know. What, what the rest of it would be, you would just be administration to get in the way from getting things done you know you can't see the mayor until you see this guy and then you go spend three months doing this shit talking to this guy just to get a place to talk to the mayor well this, we this really don't politics. have a mayor like well claire is weird because right now we actually don't have one it's like the city council which is a group of like 10 people or eight people 
they're the ones the making over, the decisions for the city. The overseers. at this time. Yeah. Yes. Do they have pretty whips or and chains or or not? Mm. Giddy up. Are they characters? <laughs> I was a runaway debt slave. <laughs> no, actually, now I am one at, by through marriage. But you know, like in a city like New York, city that like being a cousin. Yeah. What about that? Like being a cousin? No, not no. even close. No. Hey, we have good news. What about New York? I, no, I, I say we have some I, know, news. I know some of how they come up with the assessment a number, but I don't know all of it. Like I'd have to do more research yeah. to find out and have them tell me. Why did you decide, yeah. you know, how did you, oh, how did you come up to, with this number to assess my property? And that's the, that's the question. How did you come up with this number? And how Besides long would you... the obvious things like comparison to other homes <laughs> in the area. Did, did you see what just happened in chat? Yeah. Yes. Hey, clean up. Clean up <laughs> aisle 420. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dog shit, bud. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I think wow. it was Jacko. Yo, Jacko! <laughs> I'm trying. I'm doing my best, Vinny. Was it Jackson or Hannah? Don't don't be so cruel to me. Anyway, Moose is on a good kidding. roll. I, I'm enjoying this, and it's given yeah. you a chance to formulate a plan so you can do something about it and not just worry about it. No, not really. I, but, yeah, I hear you. Because, yeah, because shit like that, man, it gnaws on your on your your mind that's what I, it does. i've got to ask well, now I, you know question. i know all these homeowners and it's this time of year right now where you, you can pay it or yeah. you can pay half now and then yeah. half later like in six right. months or something yeah Wait so a is this people everyone that i talk to that owns a home no one is happy about paying property tax no one ever is happy about that why would you be it's a burden mm. and mm. everyone bitches about it but no one does anything about it they just pay it it's mm. the bend over syndrome. Bend over. Bend True. over That's syndrome. Nice. I just came up well, with a new, a new term. Bend over syndrome. Okay. You don't you want know. to, but you do it anyway. Right. Well, you're just going the then. other the other well, direction is to to stand and ask them what the hell they're doing to make them accountable. What's wrong with that though? Why is that such a, a bad position to be in? What? To be the person that stands up to hold them accountable. It's not bad. I'm it's not, not I'm attractive. Not trying to like, I just want to know. Like, I want the information, and I want to know, you know, what my Wouldn't three thousand, what I'm getting for that. You know, the shows okay. that they have at this Pablo Center, I have to but pay for it, tickets for it. I had to pay to be, have it constructed. If I want to see a show there, I got to buy a thirty dollar ticket or a fifty dollar ticket to go see a show all, there. All this should be a matter of public record. Yeah, I'm sure it is somewhere. Then. Why is it so hard to find out where the re you know what the record's called so you can open it up I, and look at it? This is the thing. I have to work full time, for one thing. Yeah. And it's okay. a full time job to go and research and find out all the ins and outs about everything. Wow. See, th that's what I'm against. It shouldn't be. Just, right. It's black and white. This, that's what I mean about this whole damn game. Yeah. It it's it's done this way to make things work this badly. That's all. And they call it progress because you can push a button and turn a TV set on while you cook a pizza. I mean, whoop, whoop. It's cute. You know, you guys, your little games and your little phones and all this crap we have. To, I entertain myself just as badly as the next four Okay, so if the, the assessment you know, factors of the home oh, back. public information, <laughs> then also should be a breakdown of exactly where each cent of that three thousand dollars that I paid has gone to, what it's what it's gone to, what it's used for. Hi, is this that, thing on? That can should be get, public information as well. Can you get it on the internet? Though? I I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm well, how do you find? Right <laughs> yeah, but how do you find a source? Who's the good investigator in the uh, Real Liberty Media that can tell her what the best source is to start looking? How about Kate? The public records. Kate's? Okay. Well, I don't know. This is not my strong suit, I'm just but saying, it sounds... It's it's supposed to be public information. Okay, and what are you going to do with the knowledge once you have it? That's, That's the big a, question. I'm going to... My goal is to get... To, to, 
Ain't much you can do with. Not have to pay as much to, to it. That that's not going to happen. I don't want to pay three thousand dollars a year. It's no I, negotiation. Not right. Not right. Yeah, I don't see that either. Yeah. No negotiable. Next. No. There's. Now. I don't know You'll, what the goal is. I just. I guess I don't even need to go to the city council. I can just find out the information on my own. But I don't think that the information that I'm seeking is there. I'm not going to get a breakdown of where that that three thousand dollars has gone for thirteen years. It doesn't exist. Mm. I don't think so either. I, it's all in creative can yeah, accounting. Yeah, I don't think it exists. And promises. It exists if it doesn't. Well, see, this is what will get us through anything. If should anything fall down and not work anymore. The local people that are near you are the ones that you're going to be closest to, right? Yeah. Outside forces aren't going to be able to, to interfere in what you do. So your local places will get electricity and water operating. It's just like in a disaster. It's no different. Oh, no. Just... And here, if, if, if the shit hits the fan here, yeah, see? then they can just shut my water off because I'm on city water. Well, if the shit what hits I mean... the fan here, they can shut my gas and electric off. But it's they, not a yeah. matter of state. Oh, look, it's at that point, it would just be a matter of the people you're around. We've got this thing shoved down our throats in so many bullshit ways. I've been through enough disasters to really which, get like a better what? grip on this. How many disasters? All this, if two. What? Which ones? Uh, Andrew and Miami and the earthquake in San Francisco in 89. Okay, I remember that. Yep. I was just they wondering, were, Flash. I'm not, I'm just wondering. No, no. But, you know. But. I've been in situations around people that okay. we were crippled and we were cut off from the outside world. Yeah. And what happens is you get close with people that yesterday you would have told them to go fuck theirself. Well, after the hurricane or the earthquake, your neighbor is all of a sudden looking pretty good. And well, we'd all be in the same boat, kind of. And you're all, when, those, when those things happen, everyone's kind of pretty much in the same boat. It doesn't matter how much money because money doesn't matter at that point. Right. It, it, yeah. Everyone's yeah. in the same boat. Yeah, right. I hear what you're but saying. We've okay, but we've got Netflix and TV and cable programs all about the end of the fucking world yeah. and how we're cannibals and zombies. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, whether you believe it or not, if you're exposed to it, it's got to do something to the way that you uh, value life. Let's say, like my generation, I'm not so much for abortion. When you know, as far as uh, I think everybody should be have a right and no, i don't think it's one of those kind of things i think it's a personal thing for a female that it's not my business in the first place you know but because of the society that i live in and the way they indoctrinate us they make problems yeah. belong to us that we should just be left the fuck out of them it's got nothing to do with you stupid it's but, just like drug laws it's the same you know what I mean? yeah 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 let me exactly. do what i want to yeah, with my body yeah. exactly and my you know, life and, you know. right Right, if I'm not because, hurting anybody else or taking anybody else's shit or fucking anybody else's shit up, let me the fuck leave me the fuck alone, right? Because it's safe to say that women, you know, do get pregnant, not planning to get pregnant, and that's life. You know, I understand that, but because of the way that this uh, abortion thing is pitched to yes. them as like a freedom and a right. Are you, you're you're killing something and you're promoting it. So and if the government's behind it, you already know it's fucked up for you right there. <laughs> yeah, pretty if much. If the government <laughs> wants you to do something, yep. don't don't like if they don't want you to do something like smoke pot, then smoke the pot. <laughs> if they want you to do something like have an abortion, no 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 no, stay away, no abortions. But see, then it makes a person responsible for who they fuck and you know, uh not getting pregnant or not getting somebody else pregnant, being aware consciously of these yeah. things. Well, it's so easy to do if you don't fuck every hole you walk into, but TV and movies and society makes it look one way and it's really a different way. I hear you. Yeah. I mean, and when I seen a movie yesterday, me and Sir have been um, surfing on the movie thing. Yeah. It's, Sitting around the house and being lazy. And uh, one of them was about, um, let me think where my mind went with that. Well, it was just the female superiority film, you know, where the, the woman's all of a sudden so much more capable than the guy. Instead of making it an even playing field. 
for all of us. They always pit one one group against another, one sex against the other. You know, not that we're different, that we're better than, because my gift is more important than your gift. And what? <laughs> and this is how we're raised. We're we're, we're like uh, like pitted against each other in a contest, and. I don't care for it so much. I tried. I try to stay out of that. Yeah, you know, I hear like you. like pick and circ. I think far whatever that means. You know, connecting with her. Hey, Donna's here. <laughs> hey, Donna, latecomer to in a perfect world because hey, we've sir. been we've been around the around the you know the block talking about weird shit. But the main story tonight has got to be. The idea behind property taxes, right? Oh, Grimner and, pays property tax. He don't like to do it either. But well, he, he lives. He doesn't live in my my same town. So <laughs> we're in a majority mob rule oh my God. world. Oh my the God. majority rules, dear. It's Why not our fault. Huh. I mean, there are so many flag wavers here in uh, status. And last night was uh, New Year's Eve, right? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, well, this is not a rich neighborhood, but fireworks went off, off, I mean, way after midnight. And I'm not talking about the public ones. There's boxes all along the street, down the road to the train, from people that were blowing them up on New Year's. Yeah. And then the city makes a special trip along to come out and pick up all the crap at the end. But the next morning, it's a disaster out there. Yeah. So I'm in, in a... In a way, I'm in America. In a way, yeah. Just it's just got a different design. It's the same freaking mindset. It ain't no different. Yeah. Oh, look at me, dig me. I'm cool. I got a flag. Tra la 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 la. And they're good people, just like Americans. I don't have yeah. problems with people. I have problems with the governments that the people think that they're that they're representing or something that represents them or some shit they play i i'm trying to get out of it so it's kind of it's getting more hard more difficult to explain as i go the more distant i am from the the physical reality of belonging to the states yeah i know you mean. the <clears throat> then the the chains have just uh <laughs> I'm a guest in this Denmark place, and these people are cool. So, <laughs> but, but if I was at home, I I think the political tension that I read on the internet, I think I'd feel it in daily life. Hey, it's snowing. Look at this. Oh, snow. you lucky guy. You Not know. here. Or in no. Arkansas. No, in no. New Mexico. Oh yeah, Grimner posted a video. You see it. I did. No, but I am reading his, oh, joy, New Mexico is now officially full-on socialist. Yay. Lucky Watch you, live. Man. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. <laughs> Inauguration ceremonies. Okay. But see, this is what I mean. Is You know, down at the bar, I've told the story about that. They they have a non-smoking thing. They, they abide by it to a degree. But... They're not going to not let you smoke in their bar because there's a law against it. But, you know, they, they compromise. Oh, well, you can smoke over there, but nah, they, blah, 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 blah. And then on Sunday, they just don't give a shit about the fucking lawn. There's ashtrays all over the place. I guess the cops won't come fuck with them on Sunday or something. It, it's Danish. Did I mute myself again? Oh, no, no, I had to walk through it. Some- <laughs> You're alive! Ah, it was just... I was just I was enjoying listening. the uh, yeah. I was just enjoying the uh, simplicity of my surroundings. You know, because there's no crime, there's no population, but they went f- full on, full blown freaking American with their fireworks yesterday and the day before. Mm-hmm. Oh man, horrible! Just drives. I'm not a big fan of fireworks. Never have been. Oh, not really. They're cute. pretty, They're but right. mm, but to. Hours and hours and hours of no yeah. after after five minutes. Bliss. Yeah. Right. Okay, but that's it's got something to do with the indoctrination and the war thing. There's some warlike motherfuckers around me. Yeah. You know, but the the population here isn't. But 
amongst the population is an element of warmonger and statist and you know people that are for their this and for their that i'm in favor but, of statist i think you should state things and state them clearly and be correct in doing so okay long live the statist the, the reason they get along better here than where i'm from is because here they don't shove everything in your face hello hello did we lose you oh i thought yeah hey what you been doing bro? i Hey, how, how'd you get my number, man? <laughs> oh, What's up? thank you, sweetie. Hey. Oh. Hey, I who, got a big that? sore. Who's that? Who's that? Hmm? Who's that talking about? <laughs> oh, okay, oh my God. Sorry, Flash. He's, he's, he's He goes on his medication like once a year <laughs> just, just to do this. You got any good medication stories? Because I only got the one. I got a good one. And it Wait a minute. It, Hold on. I got to load it. That one. I got to load the bow. I got a good one. Uh oh, you got a little yeah. bowl. Yep, let's that's all do it. that. That's the good. That's a good story. Happy four. Well, I was gonna say happy four twenty, but it's not four twenty. It's oh, four twenty every day, right? Six twenty. It's all every who day. Needs, it's four twenty. If you need a reason, then you're you're not doing it right. I think <laughs> I don't we should all know. get a clock that says four twenty, and just yeah. that's the time they, all the time. They make and them. the dates. They yeah. do. Yeah. They, that's yeah. the thing. Yep. Yeah. Well. Because the state was so nice to fluoridate the water, I think that the people should get Who a, said that? get a group together and do something to the state's drinking water that the state people that run it drink. And go put some, what do you call it? Oh, I something remember. Something in it that'll make them tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Truth L serum was... LSD. Well, that would probably, well, how do you... you couldn't you account microdose. for the dose. Like, mm. you know... I'm not that mathematical. You'd have to spike a drink to do that, I think. It would be too personal. I was thinking more like in a group thing where they all oh. had to go to a water thing, what source and, you know, get a glass. <laughs> then what if they took a thousand hits? <laughs> yeah. It'd probably be good. Well, Mayor Johnson is still fucking that cat and he'll he's busy. <laughs> anyway. Hey, do, do have you are you a TV fan at all? Do you, Moose. For like what? I like some of Netflix older shit. Oh yeah. And do you remember a program called Black Mirror? Yeah. Okay, remember the very first episode? No, I, I only watched like oh, one episode. Oh, I don't. Oh, the okay, the Prime Minister of of England is being blackmailed into fornicating a live pig on TV. Oh God. To get the release of a kidnapped heiress. To gain her freedom, he has to do this live on camera. Oh, yeah, I, I saw, saw that. that. <laughs> I saw that. Would that be awesome? No, that's disgusting. No, it's disgusting, but... <laughs> yeah, no. I, I'd, pay, I'd pay $20 to see Trump do a pick. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't pay the money, but the joke is good. <laughs> I wonder what Trump would have to do. <laughs> you know, to be put in a position like that, he I wouldn't. wonder what he'd do. He think he'd do something. <laughs> they even gave the guy Viagra and he cried through the <laughs> But he still did it. <laughs> To save the heiress. And then, and then after he does it, they find out it was a prank. <laughs> and the, 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 girl, the, the girl's finger was never chopped off. The kidnapper chopped off his own finger. And then he let the girl loose before the guy ever did the pig. <laughs> yeah. So he did He did it for there, there. I mean, there is a, anyway. a lot of poetry in, the, in poking the pig. That's how I see politics. Uh, These... Man, these how do they do the things they do and get away with it and get a following? People support them. There you might not believe this, Moose. Yeah. Are yeah. you sitting down? Yes. Okay. Be, be, this is going to be strange news okay. to you. Okay. We have amongst us in the real liberty media dot com chat yeah. a Trump's a trumpet. Yeah. A uh, full blown <laughs> on his knees, knee pads polished, bib ready to go, Republican. Loves the Trump man. And for the world, I can't understand why. I really can't. I know a little bit about Mr. Trump, and ooh, he's a nasty man. I added that. 
he added what? Well, I just that did. Trump's net. Like Putin would allow that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Who? Wait a minute. No, that's Grimner's talking about Putin. Why is he talking about Putin? Who gives a flying <laughs> fuck about Putin any fucking way? Oh, man. It's no more. Come on. It's no more realistic than Trump, Putin. You guys are getting suckered. It's not even funny anymore. I guess the people at Monsanto, you know, that billions and billions or trillions of freaking dollars that that monster generated through its its life expectancy, right? They changed the name. Where did the money go? Huh? 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 Yeah. And all those lawsuits come in at Monsanto. So uh, legally, I mean, we, I don't understand the law to that level. So this company sells out to another company. What becomes of their debts? <laughs> See, it's creative accounting. And then explain yeah. to monkeys that are still burning oil like chimpanzees should. And, and they think they're getting answers that, that make sense. Global fucking warming, Moose. I mean, you and Grim talk about it all the time, but there's assholes at climate change. Okay, right. But to believe that the the problem isn't in the design is insane when you look at Tesla. Compare Tesla to Edison and, oh, there's there's the problem. There's nowhere to charge people for something that's free. And we've been raised for 100 years to believe that electricity is a commodity you have to manufacture and steps have to be taken investment has to be made to get this to do that and tesla said hey it's everywhere it's all around you and here we use wireless to communicate and video and all these things instant talking to each other all the fucking time one side of the planet to the other but people don't believe that there's no reason to burn um, coal anymore it's all obsolete. We just need to change. <laughs> just like your just like your story about your property tax moves. No different, just bigger, a bigger scale of it. And it's repeated right. over and over, every step of the game. And but the population loves this crap, Moose. They, they try taking it away from them. They'll they'll fight you. Take what away. They're they're chains. What they call freedom are chains. Hal's tried to explain it to him that most of this stuff at a legal level is illegal. But nobody steps up to take action to, to do anything about it. So it goes on. And as long as you got an uninformed, ignorant public that's apathetic and don't care what happens, just as long as it don't happen to me, Doesn't I care. don't care what happens. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> But that mindset, it exists. Not not everybody's this. We're all different to some level, but then there's levels of sameness where people find it necessary to herd with other other animals of their species. Let me ask you something. Uh, Do you like Napoleon ice cream? Or Cosmopolitan? Yeah. No, it's Cosmopolitan, right? No, Napoleon. What is it? The three, three colors? Can't really say. Oh. Maybe you can call them flag. I knew what you meant. Yeah, I knew what you meant by both because uh, I guess I've I've lived in your part of the world before because it was familiar. But yeah. yeah, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Right. So, know, one, one well, what would you thing. would you just like? Would you buy that ice cream and then mix it all up together and then eat it, or no? You eat it no. like yeah. No. Oh, there. One, it is. I'm a racist. I do one one at a time. Well, I know you're that and a species. <laughs> I have but... to wipe out the niggers and those fucking oh, gingers man. and then save right. the. Save the whitest oh, for last. Well, that's so bad to say. You're <laughs> you're way too white to say that. Yeah. I don't I don't care. Are you I mean, you know what? I've had friends from other races and I, it's all word bullshit. Yeah. You get caught up in it. That's your but, problem. But mine. you can have you can have a black friend to say that with, and then you could be around some other black folks that uh, ain't your friend. I don't right. care. I'm fucking around it. on. I'm fucking around I, on the radio. I, I know. I'm just in the telling first place. you. I'm just tell I don't care listen, what you tell Listen, Nick, I'm talking to you, man. So, and your point is, did you know that? Oh, no. Yeah, the point. My wife brought brought me tonight lemon and ginger tea. You are. You're a ginger. Yeah. Fresh. It's fresh shit in the tea. Uh, all chopped up so I can get over my upper respiratory disagreement. Will it help any with your racism? 
Oh no, I'll be a racist till I croak, man. I like being a racist. Do you? I think being a racist is funnier than shit. What about? This is so ignorant. It's Let me stupid. ask you something. I, I'd like to can what? maybe see how your mind works. If you're just like walking yeah. down the sidewalk and there's a slow, yeah. you know, crossing, yeah. you know, yeah. do you step on them, step over no. them, kick them off the sidewalk, pick them up gingerly, like no. ginger, that's right? No. Uh, and move them. So what if it's, no. what if it's a turtle? What do you? Uh, and well, you're driving down I, the highway. What happens? Okay, I might, I might take the time to i wouldn't be driving anymore but if i saw a turtle i might make a move to put it somewhere where it wouldn't be so likely to get squat which one the snail or the tortoise no the turtle the turtle yeah, what turtle. about the snail yeah it's nah i'd give two fucks about a snail. step over them or step on them either wouldn't matter try i'd avoid it so i want that shit on my shoes okay, shine on want shine jet pack. you want what a jet, want pack. jet pack they have jet packs now but, it really <laughs> yeah, I, but I just found this, this article about jet jet packs and the ones like, in how the come water these or... aren't available for purchase yet? You could bring that. Cool? Hey, you could bring that up at the city hall meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Be the first kid on your block. They're, 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 they're expensive. <clears throat> hey, listen. This is here. You go. This is what you do. You put in like whatever the paperwork is, and you say, <laughs> "I would like city council to approve." And adopt the measure <laughs> to uh, purchase a set jetpacks as a community project, and you know people get together there in a park. And, yeah. It's like, how much would you willing to be pay? Uh, how much would you be willing to pay for that extra? You know, it's gonna cost a little bit more, so you have to negotiate that. But wouldn't they be, that be cool? It's like the Jetsons or something. You gonna make that noise? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me. <laughs> when you're that driving, that could be it. an added feature. Hey, what do you think? Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a wise, oh, wow. it's a wise crack. It was trying to be a wise crack. Yeah, uh, fourteen was a minutes. Wise, fourteen minutes it was left, a, right? It was a wise poot. Are you having fun, Mosey? I'm a poot. Who are you calling a yeah, poot? we're half, we're halfway. Are you trying? I'm a poot. Is she trying to bail out up on our oh, show? No. Is it? No, I'm just pointing out that it's quarter to two. Oh, yeah, it is, huh? <clears throat> hey. Wait a minute. Oh, no uh, problem. Yeah, Cirque says we got 15 more minutes. I had to check with the wife. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> hey, what I'm are you a, asking me for? <laughs> I'm going to include for the uh, yeah. for the, the blog posting you know, yeah. a little bit here. For further exploration, uh, if y'all would like to look at and check yeah, out Wisecrack. Hold on a minute. You're gonna send that, yeah, send yeah. that to Grim. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you got any notes to add? No, I'll just go with yours. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, but I want to make short. a big stink about Moose talking up the property. Um, okay. Tax yeah. Let me let me just add but, this right here, here real okay. quick and real quick. But in a few just, yeah in in it, a few sentences, Moose, how would you say that best? Just you know for the blog thing, because it was a good topic. I, uh, I really. Yeah. I tell you what, I, I got, really that got into on it. that so far too, and uh, which was my follow up. Hmm. And we can, uh, and I'll come back. Okay, go ahead. This what? It, no, tell me first, because I don't want to influence your mind. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Draw the blank here. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, you hold going? on, hold on. This may be. Uh, <laughs> this may help. I'll tell you what I got. Taxes. Where do they go? Uh, so I say then, okay. po poetry in poking the pig, creative accounting. There you go. I would say property tax uh, before taxes, though, to specify property okay. tax. Okay. Well, it could be any tax because, you know. But still, yeah, it makes the point, though, about – because this is more specifically <laughs> aimed at where does that particular money go? So yeah. it's property separate. Yeah. Yeah, it's collected separately. I mean, it's it's the same place, but it, there's certain time limits on it, and right. then penalties yes. and all this other shit if you don't yep. pay their extortion exactly. on time. Yeah. So, yeah, and you know what makes this right? Well, they build the roads. Well, they can, and then you get stuck in that argument about crap again, so you yep. go nowhere. Right. But it's not about the fucking roads. It's about the fluoride in the water and your idiotic fucking president. <laughs> Watch him sweat. <laughs> oh, call any president idiotic and whoever supported him is going to be mad at you. 
But that same person can't prove one fucking good thing that other idiot did in their whole administration that wasn't a complete disaster. Yeah. Everything turns, everything these fucking presidents do turns to shit. It's, you know, it's time for people to start owning up to that, that when a major decision for 300 million people is made in one spot of that place for everybody that it's not going to work. What what we need as you know is to downsize a little bit and just go with your locals and fuck this big over the your shoulder shit. Why do you need federal in a state? <laughs> it's just, for what? To catch Al Capone. <laughs> we have we have internet. You could do away with police completely now. We have internet. No? There you go. Think about what it would cost to put internet spots like on every block in a city okay go in there and use the computers all you want <laughs> have fun we're gonna pay for that we're gonna have to raise See, there you go we're gonna have to pay. raise we're gonna have to pay raise for more money yeah I mean, moosey i've pay got bad it. news uh your property tax has gone up again really yeah again? Thank, thanks thanks to flashes and his ideas Great. <laughs> yeah, you have him to oh, blame. Hey, hey. Okay. Yes. Well, all right. Let, let's use the equivalent of it. Is every third person that you encounter has a cell phone? What it? So there you go. In, yeah. Internet and pot for everybody. Well, or internet oh, no, and every no, pot. How do how do we describe this? An, an, an internet for every pothead. <laughs> how about that? Well. Maybe the potheads should vote. have their Listen, own internet. This is going to require some hard work, buddy. I, want you to I don't get vote. Out there and I want you to. You don't have to actually vote. You just have to really no, just, gonna, just like no. do a thumbs up thing and say, "Ooh, you betcha." Do it real hard. Oh, yeah. I have to endorse your frivolous notion. Exactly. Hey, what's in it for me? Let's be Jewish about it. What's my cut? Um, there's nothing for you, buddy. Then you I get against self satisfaction. <laughs> Seek it. Neat. Good. No. Can't do I it. can't get it. No. I'm going to quit. Nope. Can't do it. Satisfaction. Mm. No, no, no. Poor, poor Mick. Come on, Moosey. Sing it with me. Sing it. Oh, don't well, do it. I don't do it. No. Oh, yeah, she did it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfaction. Uh, two wing nuts and, mm. and a dork. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks. Well, how's that go driving in my car? But oh, with the way to you. Thanks for. On. Thanks for doing the In a Perfect World program I with me tonight, to guys. Closer, <laughs> and you say no, sir. So if you guys want to do this next time, I mean, I'll be wired before the program. Next time I will be at up. work. Oh, what are you going to do? I didn't even know you were going to be working. Yeah, customer service route. Really? For what service? Uh, steel toll boots. Really? Yeah. Wow. So what is what a strange I just damn <laughs> but yeah there well there's lots of uh, industry that require that cuz I have I've had bought many pairs of those. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sure, but hmm, customer service. We'll see service? how it goes. I mean, it's something. So it should be Well, good. yeah. Yeah, is it more about staying busy or is it about money? It's well, money. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Gotta have Good. a job. See, well, see, that's the illusion. What you gotta <laughs> have is an a, enough interest in your what you're good at to figure out a way for it to pay off. Right. Right. And some people have hidden talent. They don't know they got it, so they never pursue it. That's correct. Well, I've been very lucky to pursue things at uh, other people's whims. Hey, you want you know anything about electrical? No. Want to learn? Okay. And boom. And it wasn't like the details of what, like, um, say, Larry Woods or uh, Rob Works know, but the installation of the shit that it runs through. Because it doesn't need to be hot to install the stuff. Put it together. Input it together and, and activate it later. We do have good news. What's that? Uh, front this report just in from Judge Dredd. 
21, oh. Chicago, Illinois, 2017 violent crime report, 1,099 per 100,000. 2017 homicides at 653 with a poverty rate of 21.7%. <laughs> Unemployment rate is 55 So from that, we get a big thumbs up from the Hans Dread Report. The Drivel Report is finished. Thank you for sharing that with us. You bet. Who lives in Chicago anyway? Uh, my mama did when she was a little girl for a little while. <sighs> yeah, but does anybody here live there now? I've been to Chicago. I've been to All Chicago, right. but I don't live there. Who wants to do the lineup for the following week? Uh... <clears throat> I, I have a closeout uh, to go along. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Oh, and you got a new show coming up, too. You promised us. Yeah, so so we can get on here and call you names through it and make fun of you. Yeah, but I probably won't pay too much attention to you if you do. <laughs> Just it, you know. I'm going to get on the chat and call you a bonehead every five minutes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> no, but you got a show coming up Friday. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, today we've been doing In a Perfect World. Uh, the Thanks, first Moose. show. Thanks, Vince. Yeah, Thank you. God. The very first <laughs> RealLibertyMedia.com show of the new year, 2019. One, one. Yay. Make them, make them two thumbs up, baby. So we've been dolting coddles at contrast. <laughs> there they are. Uh, contrasting the occupation. <laughs> Psychotic maniacs run all societies. And that's why they work so good. Out. And Moose gave us a good Out. topic right yeah, in the middle of the on. show to talk about, too. Cayente, way. <laughs> Shut up yourself. <laughs> you know, <speak. laughs> Stop it, Pinky. Or I shall be forced to hey, hurt you. Listen, you're, you're talking <laughs> while, while I'm doing things right now, okay? Shut, shut up in your mouth right now. <laughs> in a perfect world, 2019. Oh, one, 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 baby, that's two thumbs up. See, you made me start all over again. You don't okay. clean coddles no more for you. <laughs> Contrasting the occupation, you psychotic maniac. What's wrong yeah, with this me. world? <laughs> we are out of the writer's sphere and into the talking sphere. Real Liberty Media, our log, hashtag that. The topics were property taxes, where do they go, and poetry, and poking a pig, and creative accounting. Uh, that's your artunication. And I am starting back into radio uh, 13 and a half parts. You can figure that out as I go along. This is a radio writing series, and it's Friday at noon central. That's a uh, parenthesis, 1 p.m. Eastern time for Grimner on the RLM radio Speaker's fear. Thanks for the uh, uh, amuse inspiration there, Flash, from your talking sphere to my speaking sphere of radio writing. And, and including, we will have uh, more easily the Pirate's Creed and some inspiration, which we included to look further into, is the philosophy of J.R.R. Uh, R. Tolkien, why things keep getting worse. And that's... Uh, the amused artunication from Wisecrack Edition. Find that on YouTube. And in contrast, Toking versus Lewis on faith and fantasy. And uh, that link is in include it as well. And that's my ponder gander. And and, and in the uh, titling of today's broadcast, which just kind of fumbled along and uh, spilled out as it usually does, is dolting. Uh, the UD, the uh, Urban Dictionary 3, has that as the unspent ash of tobacco or marijuana that accumulates at the bottom of a pipe, usually inside of a bong, uh, which can be smoked. So, yes, be dolting in your duties. And Coddles, the uh, Urban Dictionary number three out of ten, is allowing to speak. Uh, I'm sorry, allowing weak, weak people to whine and sit back and not get their work done. And number six on that list is treating idiots as if they are intelligent and, or informed, aware and sensitive to a particular issue, especially at work. So be about your business while you're doing it. And do dolt when you can, but be careful of the coddles. And that <laughs> is how I say that. You would. 
Yes. Thanks. Alrighty then. But now, how about the lineup for the week and will? Uh, oh, and Moose, you can always come to the dork table on Saturday if you're available. Okay, cool. Because you know, if you're working, and you know, if you want to come to the show, you're w- welcome there. And if you're working, well, then I can't cool. get you. Thanks. All right. You may awesome. run through the the rundown. Oh, sure. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. You Thanks, may give everyone. the run rundown for. Yeah, sure. Oh, Please. Go. So on Tuesdays we have in a perfect world at uh, the same time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Grammy Mary comes along on Wednesdays at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Flash is back. He's on uh, Thursdays. And what time is that? It's uh, 7 p.m. Eastern as well, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. And then uh, uh, Thursday that was and Fridays. Uh, I'm back. Uh, brand new first show of the year and uh, first in the series on Fridays at noon central. That's a, a 1 p.m. Eastern grammar. Thank you. And uh, Grammy again at 7 p.m. Rocking that rocket chair. Woo-hoo. Yeah. And Moosey and Grimner in on the Freakers Ball, y'all. And then we come back to <laughs> Tashiru on the dark table on Saturdays. And then that's at a I might not be yeah, here for Freakers on uh, uh, this Friday. Roll on along to Sunday. We uh, play some trivia oh, over here in the along. chat. Yeah. Uh, listen. Did to you hear me? And That's listen okay. to some blues with Grimmer. And that starts uh, <laughs> sometimes early, but at <laughs> noon Eastern. Uh, Al, and a- Al Anthony is uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern. And Hello? that's uh, noon o'clock. What happened? Out there on the left coast uh, where uh, fine folks like Cowboy Tech is at. And huh. Donna and other other great people. And then back to uh, Monday, the uh, second day of the week, we get Grim. There were some Grim leftovers. And uh, that's uh, some of the stuff that he was not uh, able to articulate during the uh, uh, previous week. So with all that spit out, uh, make, sure <laughs> <Artunicate. you're, laughs> make sure your microwaves are clean. I understood you. Oh, no. What's wrong with me now? <laughs> hey, what happened to uh, me? Captain I'm Penny so got a kicked out using, for some reason. I'm so used to you using that <laughs> word that I knew what you meant. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Hello? No. That's, a, that's a word we will give over to uh, uh, Capitani Zani. Or I'm not Captain, Later. Captain Vinny. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Moosey. Thanks, Flashes. Thanks, Adios. Lucas.